Hi there and welcome back to Stellaris Snail Wars where we make the galaxy safe again. Against all these enemies trying to stop us, the wall, the T human hierarchy. Now as of yeah, a short time ago, the League of Rainbow Light. And newly and growing by much. The unbidden. They have nearly taken out the great Vitrezius hierarchy. I mean, look at that. Woo! The Kurgan League of Territories has been able to stand against them because it's the Kurgan. Oh, look at that. Their fleet power is now pathetic. They have been so good. Maybe they have battled with the unbidden. That might actually be it. You invented your faith to fill empty minds. Indeed, to fill them with something good. Your people would never feel the true euphoria of an enlightened intellect. So that is your drug, eh? Euphoria. <laughs> uh, your drug is now the unbidden. And the unbidden will take you out, probably. They, These guys have been pretty strong, but not anymore. They are pathetic now. The Unbidden are growing quickly. And there's no one near who will be able to stop them, except maybe the Kurgan, but I think they have lost. They have lost their forces in the war against the Unbidden. Which is m why this may have gone into this direction instead of this. So, but what else has happened in the galaxy? The Fung Friends and the T Human Hierarchy. They have formed an alliance, a federation. And we're considering to attack the T-Human Hierarchy because they are really bad with their fleet. But on the other hand, the Republican Fung Friend regions are really good with their fleet at the moment. And the T-Humans were never a danger. So, first thing, we might just wait. It won't change much. Second thing is, it's not directly supporting our empire of Nautilon's arrival. We just want to found our colonies at the moment. And make these work. <laughs> so, I think we're going to pass on that. I mean, if the Holy Roachen, if the Space Roaches say, Hey, we have that idea to attack the Fung Friend regions. Then we'll go for it, sure, we'll say yes, but not by ourselves, because that, that wouldn't be prudent. I mean, it wouldn't just be, it wouldn't be good for us. What we have to prepare for is another um, war against the League of Rainbow Light and against the Wall, because they will be recovering now. I mean, they are pathetic at the moment, but they will recover. So, um, yeah, let's, let's rather do that, so. And of course, we want to upgrade our fleets, which will cost incomparable amounts of, yeah. I mean, we should build more ships, but first we want to upgrade. For this 5,000. <laughs> and look at that. There's actually a kingdom that is more powerful than the Unbidden. It's the Mytherine Serene Kingdom. Look at that. Wow! <laughs> nice. Nautilon's outpost has been fully surveyed. And we're going on and on to survey here. At the Curator Archaeology Lab, we have a chance to discover some, some anomalies, even though it's not very likely. We'll go for that. Um, as long as the time moves, we'll try to continue. Yeah. <laughs> That's the game. I mean, there's probably some unbidden battling something somewhere, and this is why we're being stopped. We need to find some kind of possibility to attack the unbidden, though. I mean, the galactic stars of the stars are pretty strong. 
But can they stop the Unbidden? Probably not. Not at all. Look at that, our new colony. Oh, Nautilon's Hope. Very good, very nice. Let's build a space fort with a laser defense. Let's help them with that. And yeah, construction ships, everything is buzzing again. Expanding, happy to do something. Yeah, approximately five months. This is very good now. More galactic pacts forming. More things happening. And we can now again watch our world grow again. That is such a good feeling. Look at the surfaces. If we can expand something somewhere still, no. Aha. Uh -huh. The Syrians don't dare anymore to go against the Gal Rapex Galactic Order. No wonder. I mean, they will battle with the Mytherine before long, probably. Now, we also want to look at um, our sectors. Do they have enough minerals? It seems so, right? It seems so. And the global uh, loving each other is going on. The galactic loving each other. Be they're just because of the unbidden. They are the messengers of love, probably. Nice. <laughs> Build something here. Now, where to go next? Atlas, there is something already. Oh, look at that. That's also within our area now. Very good. Very good. Hmm. Yeah, I think everything's in order so far. Nautilon's Horizon. We won't build anything special there, probably. Construction complete. Let's look at Nautilon's experiment on Bagj. Yeah, finally, some proper Nautiloids growing on here. Mm -hmm. We're gaining, we're gaining. There's that question still. Can we take them out? No. Ah. Protectorate? Protectorate would be okay. <laughs> ah. But they will always be disloyal. Look at that. Now <laughs> it has started. Repacks have declared war. Against the Kurgans. That's the Rapex. Our friends. Superior. And the Kurgans. They were once so mighty. Oh, they have been weakened by the Unbidden. And now the Rapex are coming. Well, good night. The xenophobe, militarist, spiritualists. Yeah, they like each other. The, the, the Nautiloids and the Rapax. <laughs> but that's going to be a problem in time. They will annihilate the Kurgans. But then maybe they will have um, a possibility to stop the... Un and what is that? Look at that. Probably because they have this dark star here. 
they declared war on them. Otherwise, this would have been nothing. But this? Oh my. <laughs> Will there be awakening starting? Hmm. We'll see in time. We'll see. This is going to be an epic war. Once we have the 5,000, we'll look, we'll look hard again at uh, what we will do with our ships. And we'll design the final design of um, our great ships. And there's, oh, there's advanced afterburners coming. I mean, we should wait for the arc emitter and the afterburners at least before we upgrade. There's so much to wait for. Um, we definitely can store a lot of minerals, so it will be good to wait. And you can see everything has become a little bit more costly. But here, there's Nautilon's egg. Nice going. Let's instantly build a spaceport here. Nautilon's Horizon should have a spaceport by now. Oh, it doesn't have yet. That is unfortunate. Will this proceed sometime? The amazing thing is, fast seems to work, but it stops. Look at that, we have found something. The Coloctora civilization. We have detected the presence of a primitive alien civilization on Triumph in the Atlas system. They have advanced into the equivalent of an Iron Age and are divided into numerous petty kingdoms and empires. Their species has spread across almost the entire surface of the planet. We should consider building an observation post above their world to study them more closely. Very interesting. And of course we'll just do that. Um, yeah, there's that thing. We could invade these planets, but... Yeah, then we would have to purge them. <laughs> so, we're rather taking planets from our enemies and purge them instead, because we cannot purge all the way at the moment. <laughs> yeah, let's build an observation post here. Guys, um, this is gonna be good. Triumph, it's called, of the Kaloktoras. They really look strange, like some kind of tomatoes. They have primitive farms. They're altogether primitives. Probably very dangerous. Also, they are salad. You have to be very careful not to do anything. Oh, and there's the tomb world. We could settle on that tomb world. Uh huh. Oh, they have ended the rivalry with the, with the Misophons. Now, let's see. They are only rivals with the human hierarchy right now. Hmm. But now let's go to the ship designer. Hey, there's a lot to be designed. Um, of course, we wanted to wait. There's that thing. For the focused arc emitters, because they are so good, and the advanced afterburners, because they are also so good. Now, let's do that first. Hang on for a little bit. I think that will be good. I mean, we could build something, right? What would we need? We have cruisers. A lot of cruisers, destroyers, and corvettes. Maybe some corvettes would be nice. Mm, here we have corvettes and the fleet academy. Oh, we can go for a spaceport upgrade here. Let's actually do that. And four corvettes. 
Let's build a bunch of corvettes. That will be good. What can we build here? Mm, nothing much. Maybe the engineering bay? I don't know. Probably not. Lucius' rest. Yeah, we'll, we'll build nothing here. Nautilus flesh. Um, nothing great to be built. And Suhiri. Same goes like this. Hmm, hmm, hmm. The rivalry has ended. They're probably taking heavy hits now. The Trini Sovereignty. They are in a very big federation. Look at that. Oh, it's just it's a number of crude. There are rivalries ending left and right. What about the space roaches? Only the T humans are rivals to them. Really odd. <laughs> but anyways, it's okay. The Mytherine Serene Kingdom. We could sense the Empire of Nautilon's arrival, this nexus of warmth in the cold void of space since before we left our planet. Now we are finally united. <laughs> that's, that's because of the love bugs and the, the unbidden. Oh man. Could make a trade deal. Like a research agreement. Would that be good? <laughs> Uh, we would probably not be able to tell or to pay for that, but let's see. No, it's much too costly. We can't do it. Hmm. Let's see here. Yeah, we want to help them. Some farms, maybe. Develop them <laughs> now. <sighs> yeah, I really enjoy that there's some kind of build up again. That's such a good part of the game. And we've got some more. Corvettes now. Hey, there we go. Already building the solar panel network. Alright, I mean they're they're losing no time, right? <laughs> yeah, let's let's leave them at that. System survey complete. <coughs> at the surface though they are building nothing at the moment. Escola has been fully surveyed. Do we have a free science ship now? Uh, you? I need to go back and inspect that system too. The Ridicus system. Atlas system. Nice going. Yeah, and after that you can uh, construct the mining station. Zhao Gao here. Um, where will we send Zhao Gao? Let's send him back to Whiter Prime. One of the most um, secure planets out there, probably. As long as the Holy Rochans <laughs> are friends with us. Space Roaches. They now have about 40k fleet. They are extremely crazy. in that. Yeah, what are we waiting for? <laughs> waiting for designing the fleet, finally. Hmm. We sovereigns have also ended the rivalry. Ha ha ha. 
Mm -hmm. What can we build on Neptulus power? Nothing much. <laughs> All right. Uh, we're expanding more and more. They still have good um, resources, but we'll give them a bit to bolster them. Oh, also the Rapex are ending their rivalries. The only ones that don't do that are we, right? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Everyone's going to attack us. Hey, we are at 30k again. Everything's okay. <laughs> uh, in the Abenauer system, eh? Build a research station here, please. It'll profit us in the long run. Yeah, we be, we need more society research. That will be really be good. Let's have a look at Nautilon's egg. Such a good planet. And already they're building the solar panel network. And an admiral gains a trait. While in command of protectors of the inner shell, Admiral Eva Ortega has learned to carefully nurse her supplies to significantly reduce ship operating costs across the board. Very nice. Look at that. 20 per month. <laughs> that's so good of her. Uh, that's what they learn in peace times. She's so good. Look at that. She's aggressive. She's a trickster. And she has fleet logistician. Wow. What a, what a, what a snail, I mean. What a snailish woman. So great. And now you can see here, we have a border to the Umpani, but we have no way to attack them. Could only attack the wall again. When, though? 2366, the, the war with the wall is coming. Mining station in Atlas 6. Nice. So we're finished here. Hmm. Is there another thing we can do, maybe? Out there in the vast emptiness of space? Not really anything, eh? Hmm. Furcard, yeah, let's look at Furcard Prime again. Full of happy Nautiloids now. Just as we like it. Mm -hmm. Wild Storms, yes. <laughs> they have a nice output there. And again, our naval capacity is growing. And that's the thing about the late game back here is that fast is really fast still, but sometimes the game stops for whatever reason. Hmm. Uh, let's have a look. I mean, still, the Escola and the Nautilus Horizon system are probably the most dangerous ones here for us. When the walls finally attack again. Let's see if they can, though. Relative power. Where are we? We are here. That's okay. <laughs> Helldiver Accord. They are alone. They will die, probably. As will the consolidated star spawn. The crude. Were they the, the, the wall? Were they anywhere? Not really. 
System survey complete. Redingus. Ridiculous. And now let's send Svetlana back um, to I think Nautilon's flesh. Yeah, I think so. Just research here. That will be a great service you can do. Research complete. Construction complete. Oh, and finally we have the advanced afterburners. Yeah. More combat speed. A lot more, by the way. This improved version of the standard afterburners provide an even greater boost to a ship's combat speed. Let's see. We have in store now. Hmm. What would be good to have? The Mega Cannon. <laughs> oh, nice. Uh, but we'll, we'll still go for the large ones, right? A kinetic battery wouldn't be bad. Maybe the Whirlwind missile, Missiles. That would be good too. More explosive weapon attack speed. Yeah, when can you get something general like that? So that's pretty good. Let's give let's give us the explosive weapon attack speed plus five percent. That's so uninspiring, <laughs> but still, it's a very good choice, and it will make the galaxy safe again. Of course, Svetlana Komensky will be happy to research it. Look at her; she's so good, maniacal. Yeah, have a look at our new outposts here. Spaceport. We should give them spaceport upgrades. I mean, that's the thing we can do, right? Also here, <laughs> look at that. They have relentlessly expanded their spaceport. What? But we're in love with our new colonies, so let's give them these spaceports. Maybe can we can even expand something there. Now, what is coming? The focused arc emitters. When we have these, all will be nice. Oh, they have that expanded uh, slot. We'll see if we have something available then, once we have the weapons for it. That will be great too. It's time, it's time to get in shape for the next war. It's only six years to go for the war against the wall. Are you the god emperor? The empire of Nautilon's arrival or a lowly servant? I can't even tell with you people. Yeah, we are in disguise. We are masters of disguise. Thank you for the compliment. <laughs> Hey, 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 focused archimeters are coming. Let's see if we can uh, mix up the ship designs now. The rivalry is ending everywhere. And I've been growing. What has... What has started here? The star spawn of Cthulhu... Whatever has expanded? The vessel? But now, we have completed the research of the focused arc emitters. These upgraded emitters are equipped with better focusing lenses, resulting in a more powerful energy discharge. And what next? What next? Would be, what would be good here? And these are that cheap. But research them to get them out of the way, but I think we have already better torpedoes. And we have the automated exploration protocols. But I don't know if that is really what we need to make the galaxy safe again. Could go for dark matter. Improve our physics output. 
Dark matter drawing. This exotic substance has many properties that seemingly defy the laws of physics. Harvestable concentrations can only be found near black holes or in certain nebulas. Interesting. Do we have a black hole? Then that could be something. Do we have a black hole? I don't think so. We have no black hole. No black hole there. So I think we're going for that. Focusing arrays. On the other hand, we don't have a research bonus on that. We should probably go for the research bonus here. Well, this unlocks something else, right? Even if this is very good. And laser weaponry. This is so cheap and we could try it out. We could try it out. Let's let's try it out. Ah, this was a tough decision. Let's go for the automated exploration pro protocols. Just to see if there's more coming, maybe. Look at that. Rahul Sundaram. Still alive and kicking. <laughs> he can become 107 without any fear of death. Even older, I think, but let's see. Gene seed purification. Hmm. So, um, thank you for watching. The unbidden are growing, but so are we. So, nothing to worry about. Except we always worry because we're the Nautiloids. So, happy gaming to you. Let's see you in the next episode where we make the galaxy safe again. Happy gaming.